Hi, it's Alina from XM8 Mastery here. Last week we talked about the rollout method of carpet waste, where you can actually roll it out in Sketch, and some really great comments and also some great email feedback on some things that y'all do out there in the field, setting up your properties correctly, or maybe if you have a variable roll width, so it's not 12 foot roll, it's a 15 or whatever else custom carpet that uh, the, the width of the roll comes in differently than the exact mate settings. And then also some other waste settings that we can set up. So today I want to talk about some of those things so that you will be fully prepared when using the rollout method of the carpet waste. So let's go take a look at some of these properties and settings in exact mate. So first of all, what I wanted to show you, as you can see here in Sketch, I've gone ahead and laid out my carpet and I've got some vinyl in this bathroom. If you want to see how this is done, I'll put a link in the description below. It's actually a video recorded last week about how to get to this point where you've got your carpet laid out and you can see in which direction it's laying. So the first place I want to take you is over to Estimate Items. We're going to go to one of those rooms. I'll go to the bedroom here and uh, select the carpet replacement. And if you go to the little ice cube or waste bin that's next to the calculator field here, click on that, and you can see your material width right here. We can change that. You can change your step style. There's only two different options here. Waterfall is most common as far as I understand, but you do have a different option here. And then if you have um, a pattern offset width, so if you've got a pattern carpet, you can line it up so that it looks like it's a you know continuous piece of carpet with that seaming. All of that is here in the item property editor or the waste bin in the carpet line item. So that's the first place I wanted to take you. And as far as I know, you have to set this up per estimate. There isn't a property that we can set up that will uh, roll through the same way every time. However, when we go to properties that may, there may be something there as well. But as far as I can remember, you have to set this up per estimate, which isn't a problem. You probably don't have that many custom uh, material widths all that often. Uh, same thing for the bathroom here. For our vinyl covering sheet goods, it has to be in a sheet in order for there to be this type of waste, of course, due to the fact that the vinyl tiles, you just lay them down. There is no uh, real true waste like it is in a roll, a sheet good. As you can see here on my screen, I've got the sheet good line item. So if we go into that replacement vinyl line item, we can go to that little waste bin, pull up the item property editor here, and you've got those same properties or same settings for the uh, setting up of the roll and the offset length and width there ready for you to change if needed. So that's in the item property editor over in estimate items. The other place you can go is over in sketch and you can go to options at the top of your screen and we can go to preferences here. And in the preferences window, you've got flooring properties and there's a couple different properties here. I wanted to show you as well that if you're a carpet guru or um, a flooring guy, you'll know exactly what to do with these. So these are some further settings, uh, stair overcut, those uh, seam allowance whenever you have to allow for a, a different type of seam to be cut. All these fun things that you can also access. So there's two places in the project where you can affect the dimensions or the settings of how this carpet and vinyl is going to roll out. Um, also, you've got your used scrap Click that as well if you're going to be using the scraps to fill in. All that fun stuff will determine the amount of carpet and vinyl being added to the estimate in the waste percentages in the background. So uh, those are the two places. Of course, again, one's an estimate items. You go to the actual line item and you'll find it in the item property editor. Second one's over in sketch under options. You've got your preferences there and then you need to choose flooring properties here on this window. One last place I want to take you is out to your preferences and your control center dashboard. You've got a sub tab called preferences here, and there are some preferences that are, can be set up as defaults if needed in the program. So these defaults would set up going forward. It's not going to affect the estimates you've already written, but these are project defaults that you can set up for the flooring going forward. So to do this right, you want your settings to be profile 
your profile to be the profile that you're going to be using, whether it's carrier or contractor, and you can set it up for both. Just do this twice. I'm gonna use a carrier, that's what I usually use. And user needs to be all users, so just to be sure, don't have your name checked here. Have all users check, different settings show up with all users, so just make sure we're all on the same page. Over on the left-hand side here, we're gonna scroll all the way down, and we're going to go to flooring properties over here on your grouping tree. And this is gonna be very similar to what I showed you in Sketch. You've got all of these settings here that you can set as a default, so any project that you open from here on forward will have these settings set up properly for you. Notice that we don't have the width of the role here. Again, I believe that's only available to be changed in the project from what I can see. If I'm wrong on that, feel free to tell me in the description below. I would love to know if you found a way to set that up where you can have a custom width roll through all of your estimates uh, as a default as you can here. So that's just one more place where you can set up your defaults and really fine tune Xactimate and get it so that you don't have to change these every single time you're performing the sketch and um, they're all set up for you. Also, if you guys have anything specific that you use to set up whenever you're using the rollout method of carpet, I'd love to hear more comments. We had some, like a, like I said, really great feedback last week on the, the flora, flooring rollout method. So if you have your own settings that you set up, feel free to share below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you like this video, please press the like button below so I know to show you more of these tips and tricks of the details of how things are set up in Xactimate. Hit that like button so I know this is a top that you guys are interested in. Also, please hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. We release new content every week here on this feed. For more information on XM8 Mastery, feel free to visit our website at xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys are ready for 2018, getting ready for the busy season here. Wish you the best in your business, and I will see you next week.